I'm here to present you the VSAP Virtualized Services Assurance Platform. In this topology, we're going to show you the VSD, which is Virtualized Services Directory, where we define the network policy. And VSD connect to the VSC, which is Virtualized Services Controller. This is SDN controller from Nuage, connecting to the two VS in the topology using the OpenFlow protocol. And on the right side, we have another component, that's the VSAP Virtualized Services Assurance platform. VSAPS is the tool to monitor the underlying networks connecting to the Arista and the routers of the Tor. And then the VSAPS also has the visibility of the network overlay via the VSC. So in this topology, we're going to have two VMs VM1, the 44.3, connect to the VIS and connecting to Arista. The other VMs, VM2, connecting to the VS2 via the Tor router. So the Tor and the Arista are connecting together via the layer 3 routing protocol. In this topology, we try to do the ping between VM1 and VM2 and showing you the value how VSAP can do the even correlation between the underlay via and the overlay networks. So first, we're going to show you the ping working between the VM1 and VM2. Both of them are in the same network layer 2 domain in the VSD interface. After that, we're going to try to shut down the network interface between the Arista and the core network and simulate the link failure. We're going to show you how VSAP can do the event collations, detecting the alarms, and troubleshooting, and showing the network admin where should be the issue and how to get it fixed. So in this topology, you see that VSAP found the, the reason why the ping has been failed because the link between the Arista and the core routers have been shut down. So let's do in the demo. Here, I show you the VSD interface of the customer ABC bank. In this topology, we created an L2 domain called domain 1. In the domain 1, we have the two VM ports. VM port 1 have a VM interface with the IP address 44.21. The VM 2 is connecting the VM Interface 2, 44.3, corresponding to the two VMs uh, on the topology. So then we're going to do the ping between VM1 and VM2. So now we're going to go with the VSAP interface. The VSAP interface had three components. First is the inventory managers management, and the second is the service navigators, and the last one is the default management. And let's go and do the maps interface. So in the maps, we have the service navigator showing all the layer 2 services. We have the pink color showing all the layer 2 services corresponding to the VSD interfaces. So let's highlight all the services in this topology. So we have uh, 229.204, which is the Arista router. And the other one is the 229.82 corresponding to the Tor router. So I click on the Tor router, we see on the, the virtual switch, virtual post, this is 44.21, connecting to the VM on the right side of the topology. And I click on the Arista router, I'm going to see the virtual switch connecting to, and the virtual post and VMs associated with this uh, Arista. This is 44.3. So now we're going to do is, we're going to go to the service navigator, that's all the VMs showing here, and we try to ping from VM1 to VM2. So we're going to choose 44.21, that's VM on the left side, and 44.3, which is VM on the right side. Now we're going to run the test between VM1 and VM2. We see the ping working because both of the VMs are in the same L2 domain. So now we're going to go to the Arista and log into Arista and try to shut down the interface to simulate the network failure between the Arista to, to the core network. And we wait for a couple of seconds. We go back to the, the VSAP interface and see how VSAP can do the event collations between the interface going down, causing the, the ping cannot be working anymore. So now I go back to the VSAP virtual port. And we see one alarm has been raising here. And the VMs 
cannot be reachable. So we try to ping from VM1 to VM2, the same way we just did before. And we're going to see the VM cannot be able to ping between two VMs because the interface from the Arista connecting to the core browser has been shut down. So we're going to see it. The ping is not reachable anymore. So the ping has been failed. Reason why? How we help the network admin to troubleshoot via the VSAP interface. So now I'm going to get back to the, the interface and we see the alarms. And the alarm raising to 192.168.70.2, that's the interface of the Arista. I click on the show impacts that show me, me the network's unreachable causing the virtual switch has been down and the service site associated with it virtual switch down. I click on the right side, it will show you more details. It shows the service 192.168.70.2 associated with this virtual switch have been down. And go further, you can see more details about these alarms. And we have a tool called form management. In the form management, when the alarms have been raising, we see it, there are a couple of alarms coming. So virtual switch down, I hit and show impacts to show you even more details about the prefix unreachable, which is the core network causing the virtual switch has been down in all of the services and all of the virtual machines associated with this virtual switch has been down as well. So we see it in this, and it shows you all of the details on the right side, what kind of alarms, what kind of probable cause, statistic descriptions of the alarms, and potential action you may be taken to get it fixed. So, and then we don't know the 70.2 corresponding to which interfaces, and we have a tool called inventory management to help the network admin to do collation between underlay and overlay much more easier. So here this alarm has been raised because the open flow, we can see open flow has been operationally down and connection has been lost. The alarm can be clear if you can bring the virtual switch back again to the normal stage. So now I'm going to show you the inventory management, how to do the mapping between the underlay and overlay that we only offer in this VSAP interface. So we click on the VMs, that's a 44.3 has been down, and we click on the 44.3, and we can do the pinpoint, what would be the virtual switch associated with this one. In this case, it's 192.168.70.2. So, in this demo, we show the correlation between underlay and overlay via the VSAP. Thank you for your attention.